Hello friends, welcome to the Mascot Kin Labs. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we can create multiple frames or multiple screens in your Tikinter application. It's a pretty basic requirement in most of the Tikinter application. So let me show you an example. So this is my home page of my current application. I have few buttons on it on the left. So if I if I press uh, screen one, I will go to page two one, and if I press pay, screen two, I will move to the page two. And if I want to go to home page, I'll simply select home page. So these are the multiple frames or screen on my basic application. Let me show you how we can build this application. So let's go and see. So let's start by simply calling the Tikinter library. So I'm writing just uh, from Tikinter import star by star I mean I'm calling all the methods then I'm making a root variable equals to the tikinter method this method helps me to create all the labels buttons everything on my screen then I'm setting the geometry size so geometry is again I inbuilt method of tikinter I in this is uh, I would say very important method uh, if you are creating an application uh, after the this and my next part is to create the main loop this thing is very important again because without this you can, your application won't start so basically it will uh, make your application run into one loop and it will look like that it's it's uh, uh, stable on your screen let me show you how so yeah you see because of loop this thing is available to you okay now let's start working on the screen part so I'm going to uh, make a function. Let me call the function first, and then I'll uh, I'll make a function of my first screen, which I name it as main. Okay. So I will call it frame, and this I will put a root. Then my width will should be equal equal to the width of the this window so that it will fit over my uh, application and height sh again should be equal to this one okay and i'm putting a background color so that you can differentiate between multiple screens i'm putting a yellow color you can put any color of your choice then frame dot place i'm putting it on 0 by 0 so that it will start from the left corner of my application and uh, I'm putting multiple buttons on it button then no, I'm going to put it on frame then text and this is the home so BPN one dot place x should be equal to ten. A little bit x from the left as well as from the top y from the top. So I'm putting it as this. If you run this application, we will see it's working like this. Okay. So let me copy and just paste it. Oh my God. Uh, just a second. Paste it over here two more times two three three okay so i'm giving it name as screen one and screen two okay the x will be same for all three only the y i will adjust so that it will come just below to the above button to the next button uh let's run it so yeah i have three buttons home screen one screen two okay so let's copy this and paste it two more times okay so i am going to name it as screen one and this one is screen two okay so i'm just putting frame one on screen one just to differentiate the frames uh, also i'm giving a green color so that we get to know that yes uh, we are on next screen I'm giving it frame 2 frame 2 frame 2 
2 and 2 yes, I'm, let's give it red color color you can give any choice uh, like you whatever you color want, like you want you can give um, so yes uh, now the main part if I want to call the home page I want to give it the function name so like this I'll just use the command argument in my button and for the screen one I will call screen one for screen two I will call screen two from my buttons and in this same way I'm going to copy on in all the functions uh, just a second let me go it here yeah okay so copy it here here okay main yeah everything is perfect let's run this code and check uh, whether it's working or are we getting some error so if i click screen one yeah everything is working perfectly fine so if if you want you can give you can give label as well lab is supposed to be label uh, frame 2 comma text is equals to screen 2 and then lab dot place you can you can like uh, put anything or whatever you want I'm just putting the label just to show you so x I will keep it 50 and y I will again keep as 20 so let's uh, copy and paste it here as screen 1 and frame 1 okay let's paste it in the home page as frame as home okay so let's see okay it's coming a little bit closer to this uh, okay let's make it 120 and 50 yeah. so yes this is home page this is screen 1 this is screen 2 I need to change it uh, 120 and 50 and 50 and 120 yeah now it looks better so this is how you can create multiple screens or frames on your tinder application i hope you like this video and this is uh, i think a quite a very easy uh, method or process of doing it if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you very much